Hello everyone, I'm Zaid Mondegar. Welcome back to yet another tutorial. So great to have you here. In this video, I'm gonna show you a step-by-step -step of lighting process with D5 Render. As you know, D5 Render is a real-time rendering engine that allows you to light up the scene and assign material in real time. You will see a semi-final render quality in a second, so you can decide better during visualization. Okay, let's dive in. First off, I have to say that I just opened my project in 3ds Max and run the D5 render from there. In D5 render, here you will find the menus and below that, there's a toolbar that allows you to create and modify lights, material and cameras. Here is a button that opens up the adjustment panel and by switching this tab, you can get access to different parts such as sky, filter, view and list. Today, I'm gonna experience the different light sources. As you know, we have two types of light in general. First, the main light sources like Geo and Sky and HDRI, and the second type, which are the artificial lights like point light, spotlight, strip light, and rectangular light. I'm gonna go through all of them, so by the end of this video, you will learn how to master all these lights. As you see, now the sun is shining like 3.15 pm of the first day of the year, so you can simulate any time of the year using these options. As I'm changing the sun position, the light and the time changes, so this is an easy way to set your sun and the way it shines through your scene. I'm gonna bring down the sun to represent the sunset, cause I'm gonna use artificial lights in this scene. By the way, if I only wanted to use the G1 sky, I would prefer to set it on 3.15 or around this time so the scene would be rendered clearly. Let's switch to HDRI. You can control the overall lighting by changing the sky light intensity. Here are some HDRI to download and use. Or if you have any HDRI on your hard drive, you can load it through customized HDRI item. Background light intensity effects on the reflective surfaces. And color temperature control the overall light temperature. And rotate changes the HDRI map position, so it means by rotating that, the position of sun that is included in that HDRI map will change. You can also mix the Geo and HDRI. If you enable this, it follows the HDRI light direction by default unless you disable the follow HDRI option, which I don't recommend you do that. I'm gonna rotate the HDRI until the Geo gives me a cool shadows and highlights. Next, I recommend change the sun color temperature to what you set for the HDRI earlier. Light source radius will change the age of the shadows. As you increase the radius, the light source will become larger so it gives you a smoother shadow. So let's explore the artificial lights, but before that, I'm gonna save my work by adding this view to my list.
Once I click on the spotlight, it sticks to my cursor point and snaps to every object I put the mouse on. And by clicking on somewhere, it puts it there and open up the light settings. But before I start adjusting the light, I would correct its position. To do that, I will go to the top view and choose the back or front view from the view mode option. All right. First, I would choose the iOS form. You can load your own map if you have. Brightness controls the light amount. Cone angle defines the shine angle. Attenuation radius defines the length of the light. And the light source radius controls fading area of the light. Now I'm gonna duplicate the adjusted spotlight by pressing shift and drag it to the sides. Obviously I'm not positioning them correctly so I'm gonna switch to top or back view and correct their positions. And lastly, I'm gonna adjust their temperature, which is located in the color tab. I will go to my main view and update the scene. Now I'm gonna add strip lights for the sailing. To create that, I will do the same way I did for the spotlight. Let me rotate it and scale it up to fill my entire scene. As I shift that up the light fades, so I can get the best result by changing the height.
let me duplicate and place it from the top view. Alright, let me select all my strip lights and change their position. Okay, cool. The next one is rectangular light. In such a cases, it can be used on top of the island to emphasize on it. I'm gonna scale it up to cover the entire island.
and the last one is the point light we can use this light to bright up the areas that are far from the main light sources In my scene, there is nowhere I can use this light, so I'm gonna delete this. But it's very useful light source in general. Oh, I forgot to adjust the strip light temperature. Okay, cool. Now this interior scene is light up using the artificial light sources and geo light source. This 6K render is taken less than 50 minutes and enhanced inside Photoshop. That's it for me guys, hope you liked this video. Please hit that like button if it was helpful and subscribe to my channel and click on that bell to be notified about the next video. See you in the next video. Have fun!